Managing our water temperature in hydro buckets is actually not that hard. We don't need to use a chiller. We can use frozen water bottles. Uh, I've had questions about how much does it actually reduce the temperature. So let's find out. I froze these. Make sure when you freeze them, you leave an inch for expansion. And for these ones, I actually um, put some, some salt in them. And if you just read about that, uh, adding salt to water makes it stay frozen longer. So anyway, let's look at the starting temperature. Let's pop these in the hydro buckets and then we'll measure it in an hour and then maybe in two hours and let's see how cold it gets. Here we go. A little awesome hydro bucket. Let's not disturb the plant whatsoever and put this meter in there into the nutrient solution and check our parameter. We are rising in temperature, just takes a little while to stabilize, right? Uh, this looks like it's about, I'm not going to wait for it to tell me exactly what it is, but it's creeping up just really slowly, so it's about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Let's put these frozen water bottles in there. And just a side note, I'm giving them a rinse. Uh, maybe a freezer's a little bit crusty. I saw some cat hair on there. Let's do our best to keep the nutrient solution clean and not add contaminants. Um, so a little rinse of the water bottle before we put it in there is probably a good idea. There we go. I'm gonna put one in, in each hydro bucket. Air is going back in, and let's check this in one hour. It has been one hour, and we have had a temperature reduction to 72 degrees. Um, the frozen water bottle is completely thawed, so I have removed it, uh, but now we have a nutrient solution that is cooler. So there you have it. Over one hour, the course of one hour, the frozen water bottle reduced the temperature from 75 degrees down to 72 degrees. So we had a three degree drop, and then we're gonna see that water slowly climb up back to that 75 degrees, uh, but you know, it's gonna take another hour. So, you know, it, it, a one frozen water bottle was an effective way to manage your nutrient solution if you wanted to cool it for a couple hours. You know, if we wanted to talk about other ways to keep it cool, another way would be potentially to insulate your hydro buckets. Um, and I mean, that can be a different video, but you know, temperature is something that we're looking to manage. Um, 75 degrees isn't something that I would bother with, um, but if it started to get a little over 75, I might consider it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you have done this before or you have any other techniques in which you use to manage temperature in deep water culture uh, leave a comment hit me up i'd love to know what you do or if you've done this and you have success with it